Hello again and welcome to the sixth part of this 12th MOOC dedicated to the production of sustainable biofuels, namely biojet and biodiesel. In the fifth part, we talked about the degumming section. So let's now have a look at the bleaching section. The bleaching step is typically carried out at 100 degrees C. To do this, we will need to heat the degummed oil using a heat exchanger up to typically 70 degrees C. Then we will reach 100 to 110 degrees C using a steam exchanger. At this temperature, acid is added again, always citric or phosphoric acid. The purpose of this acid is to increase the adsorption of metals and phosphate ions in the adsorbent that we will inject just afterwards. Then we enter a steered vessel to remove the last metals and phosphate ions. Then the mixture enters a first bleacher, which works in the vacuum, called wet, where we add bleaching earth, or clays. We typically inject about 0.5 weight percent of oil flow, or 500 kg per hour for an oil feed flow of 100 tons per hour. Then we enter a second bleacher, always in the vacuum, which removes the water to make the mixture of bleaching earth oil filtration easier. The oil is then filtered to remove the bleaching earth, then the oil is cooled by eating the main feed. Here, a quantity of energy was consumed in the heat exchanger of about 4 tons per hour of low-pressure steam. For information, degumming and bleaching inevitably lead to part of the oil being lost, either in the form of gums or lost in the spent bleaching earth. Between 1 to 3 weight percent of the oil is lost in these two pretreatment sections. This time, we reach the specification requested by the downstream unit and we will be able to start hydrotreating our triglycerides. We will therefore enter the second major step, which consists in deoxygenating the triglycerides and fatty acids in the hydrotreatment unit. Once all have been pretreated, it is typically available at a temperature of about 50 degrees C. We will start by increasing its pressure to a value of about 50 bars. The pressure is the result of the pressure you want to have in the reactor. The reactor pressure is a very important parameter that can be set at a value between 30 and 80 bars, depending on the feed and the technology provider. At this pressure, we will add hydrogen. In fact, the chemical reactions that will happen to deoxygenate the triglyceride involve hydrogen. At this stage, we will inject about 3.5 weight percent of the feed rate. Hydrogen is often ultra-pure at a value of about 99.9 volume percent. But sometimes you can have hydrogen available in the refinery with a purity of about 80 to 90 volume percent. In our case, we will consider a 99.9 .9 pure hydrogen. We will therefore typically inject here 3.5 tons per hour of pure hydrogen. And we will stop here for today. Thank you very much for your attention. Do not hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel and do the five questions of the quiz. See you very soon for the next part. Bye-bye.